feeling of power and pride I've never known. So I'm back at the Pentages. I'm here with Benny, and today we're talking about Jekyll and Hyde. And I have a confession to make. What's up? I've only watched one season of American Idol. <laughs> And as soon as Constantine was voted off, I stopped watching. Stop watching. I yeah. haven't watched since. Constantine <laughs> was back on the show back in 2004, and admittedly, he is probably one of those idols that has been remembered despite all these seasons of American Idol. Right? Anime. He's the nicest guy in the world. I mean, he's already played Pantages Theater back when we had Rock, Rock of, of Ages here back in 2010. <laughs> back in 2003, even before American Idol, Constantine was in a national tour of Rent in the role of Roger. Yes, Roger! And he played. <laughs> that role for us here at Broadway right. LA, but he didn't play it here at the Pantages. He did it at the then named Wilshire Theater on right. Wilshire Boulevard in Beverly Hills. Six or seven months later, we saw him on American Man. I'm like, we know him. <laughs> so it's really, it's really cool for us to have worked with him. The guy has uh, grown in, and matured into this amazing Broadway star. I mean, a true, true current Broadway star with He's got not only just a wonderful personality, but he just, he loves his fans, he loves Broadway, he loves performing for people, right. and that's what we love about him. The Pantages Theater actually has um, a great significance as far as Frank Wildhorn, the, the creator of Jekyll and right. Hyde is concerned. One of the earliest uh, moments that Frank had discussing and coming up with the concept of Jekyll and Hyde took place right here in this lobby on a grand piano. Uh, well back in the very early 1990s before the first concept album with Colm Wilkinson was created. Wow. And then there have been so many different men who have played the role. This is the first time in the history of Jekyll and Hyde that a rock tenor has played the role. Historically, Jekyll and Hyde have been played by a man who's been a baritone. We all know Constantine's yeah. voice. He is the first rock tenor to play this role. Wow. And because of that, because he has a very special vocal quality, Frank Wildhorn took all of his music and rearranged it in a way that would really make Constantine shine. Stop and it. that right there is what you hear in the concept recording that has just been released on iTunes, and that's what we're going to hear here for three weeks that's when Constantine is so playing. Oh, cool! The we're very, very excited oh, about it. Awesome. The, the music was reorchestrated with Frank and his team specifically to give it an edgier sound. Right. When you take a look at the production that they've yeah. realized on stage, uh, directed by Jeff Calhoun, it's got a really great steampunk quality to it. Oh, and so I'm going cool. to actually directly quote Jeff Calhoun. He said, it's Victorian meets Victoria's Secret. Which is so perfect for this production. Absolutely. It really is. That's awesome. So when can we see it? We can see Jekyll and Hyde beginning February 12th, and it okay. runs for three weeks until March 3rd. Okay. Please also know that we have a great Facebook and Twitter page. If you want to connect with us everywhere <laughs> on all of our social networking sites, you can go to broadwaylay.org slash connect. Awesome. Until next time, you guys. See ya.